guys hey welcome back to my channel it's me Amanda um, I'm filming this in my kitchen again it is late it's about 11 p.m. at night right now that I'm filming this so yeah um, I know it's been a while it's been like a month since I last filmed a video um, in that month my hair has changed I, I dyed it pink it's faded out a little bit but whatever um, so today's video, I have a package here. Now, I got sent this by Inkbox. And if you remember from my other video, the temporary tattoo stuff. So, I have this package. I've already opened it. And in it, they sent me, it's in this nice little envelope here, a piece of art from a tribe in Panama. And... Now here is the art, it's a flower, it looks like, really nice, and a certificate of authenticity. It's Inbox and the Darien Initiative are proud to distribute original piece of art from the Arame Indigenous Community in Darien, Panama. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now I didn't pay for that, this was actually sent to me which I think is very awesome. And the other thing that Inkbox sent me is one of their tattoos. So, comes in, as you remember, the Velcro thing. It has everything that you need, the gloves, the instruction booklet, the alcohol wipe, the cloth, needed the tattoo and for some reason in this package they sent me a sticker of a jar with little hearts so I thought that was pretty nice and pretty cool so today we're going to be applying this tattoo to my arm I was originally going to do it on my chest but I decided against doing that so, as a refresher of instructions, application is usually 15 minutes. And I did shave before doing this because even with little hairs, it may not come out. So they recommend in the book shaving. I've said that before. So, we're going to get into it. So, I'm going to have to take it out of this little plastic baggy thing. Oh, I love these plastic envelopes. They're so much fun. Because the adhesive makes them stick and they don't always come out. In this case, it's been a little different. There we go. Sorry. Okay. So the first step is, here's the tattoo. Now don't touch it because you'll get the ink. Is peel this sticky backing off. There we go. And we're going to stick it to where we want it. Should I say probably here? So it's stuck. Now I should be using gloves for this, but I'm not. So I placed it sticky side down on my skin after peeling the adhesive off. So here it is on my skin. The next thing that you do is Put on the gloves and peel the black inbox sticker from the tab. Now, because I don't do that, I'm just going to peel it off. So it says peel here, and it has a little 
tab here. So I'm going to pull it. Oh, yes. Wonderful. It's off. And take the alcohol swipe. Uh, yeah, the, the alcohol swabby, wipey, thingy thing. And we have to dampen this blue ink part. So let's just do that. Just give it a nice dabby dabby, wipey wipey. Get it nice and damp. Oh, what a lovely smell that is. Blech. Alcohol, right? So we dampened it. Put that thing there. Next is we have the cloth. So we do is we open a corner of it just like that and we put it in the microwave Now the microwave is right behind me and you want to put this in for 10 seconds Ta -da. isn't this fun Okay, one hot cloth. Ow, that actually is really hot. So we're gonna open it. And we're gonna take it out. And we are going to probably fold this in a different way. And apply it to the area. There we go. Now, we're about to hold this for 15 minutes. Um, the cloth should not move or else it can smudge the tattoo, so firm pressure is the key. So I'm gonna go sit for the 15 minutes and I'll be right back. See you soon. A few moments later. Okay, what's a blink of an eye to you guys is 15 to 20 minutes for me. So, I am now going to take the cloth off. It's dyed blue. Easy fix. Bleach. <laughs> and I'm going to take this off. Now, in the instruction booklet, it does give you the best way to remove it. It says to peel it off in the direction that your hair grows. So let's see if this works. Grab it by a corner and I'm going to pull it down slowly. Ow. My skin hates me, so there's that. And it slowly but surely peels off. Ow. So I'm going to put this black sticky back on the ink pad back. So it doesn't get everywhere. And then I'm going to fold Tattoo over because it's a one use thing. And here it is. Now, this thing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. I have to wait five minutes to let it dry. And you gently rinse it with soap and water to remove the excess ink and you pat it dry. Do not rub it or else it'll come off. 
and it will develop in 24 to 36 hours. So that's pretty cool. And a pro tip is a hot shower will help the tattoo develop on the first night. Now I probably use hot water to rinse it, so yeah. Now for aftercare, there is aftercare instructions for it. Um, you have to wear loose clothing to cover it to avoid reprinting and smudging. So while you're sleeping during the first 24 hours, wear long sleeves if it's on your arm or wear pants if it's on your legs. In my case, I'll have to wear a long sleeve shirt so it doesn't get everywhere, which is I'm fine with because I've done this before as previous videos. And keeping my skin well moisturized will definitely help to make it last longer. Now I didn't use the gloves. I'm actually going to probably reuse these when I dye my hair next time. But anyways, I will see you guys in a couple of days once the tattoo's developed and we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye. Three days later. Hey guys, I'm back. So it's been about two or three days since I applied the ink box tattoo and it has darkened up very nicely. It's no longer a light, barely visible thing. It's now fully developed. I have moisturized it a couple times. I have showered with it a couple times. It's holding up very well. I'm very pleased with Inkbox. They are the best tattoo I've ever applied. And I'm just thrilled with it. And I'm very thankful that I was able to get it from Inkbox and that they sent it to me. So thank you. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed watching me do this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.